everyone today i am going to do some sums on unitary method okay unitary method is a technique for solving a problem by first finding the value of a single unit and then finding the necessary value by multiplying the single unit value the questions solved by using proportions can also be solved by unitary method here are some questions solved by unitary method exercise 12c question number 4 a car can cover a distance of 330 km on 25 liters of petrol how far can it travel on 17 liters of petrol okay here you see what is the question asking for in this question it is asked to find out the distance distance covered by 25 liter is given and we will have to find out the distance covered by 17 liter of petrol okay and with a proportionality condition also we can find out this by writing suppose here distance and fuel is given if i write like distance is to fuel which is proportional to and second case distance is not given let me think is it as x is to fuel uh, this is fuel okay you see distance is to fuel is proportional to distance that means x is to fuel that means 17 now if i write it like this 330 is to fuel is 25 which is proportional to x is to fuel is 17 so in this way we can find out value of x that means distance covered by 17 liters of petrol so you can try it yourself using proportion i am now solving by using unitary method it is i i just have written it to show you okay and in both the cases the answer will be the same now by knowing the distance covered by 25 liters uh, we can't find directly the distance covered by 17 liter first of all we'll have to find out the distance covered by 1 liter then easily we can get the distance covered by 17 liter of petrol let me do the sum now okay solution by 25 liter Uh, distance covered is distance covered is equal to how much? Three thirty kilometer. Therefore, by one liter distance covered is equal to how much? Three thirty divided by twenty five. Therefore, by by seventeen liter. Distance covered is equal to three thirty divided by twenty five into seventeen. Now I'll cut it. Twenty five, twenty five, twenty five ones are twenty five. Twenty five ones are twenty five. Then thirty three minus twenty five is eight eighty. Twenty five threes are seventy five. Seventy five then five fifty. Twenty five twos are fifty. Okay, this is equal to thirteen point two into seventeen is equal to how much? Four point four to twenty four point four. And what is the unit? Yes, to twenty four point four kilometer. Okay. And now you see here one decimal point has come out. Now, two twenty four point four kilometer. What do you mean by this? Two twenty four point four kilometer means two twenty four kilometer, and four point four kilometer means four hundred meter. Okay. So never think that two twenty four point four kilometer is equal to two twenty four kilometer and four meter. Never think like that. It is two twenty four kilometer and. 400 meter okay always remember this so this is the answer question number 10 if 
54 men can finish a piece of work in 49 days. Then, how many men will be needed to finish it in 42 days? Okay, so let me do the sum here. Uh, it is given to finish in 49 days, uh, how many persons required? Yes, 54 men. Okay, so 49 days. Record how many persons? 54 men. So, therefore, one day finished. How many persons will be required? 54 into 49. 54 into 49. You see, unlike uh, previous sum, here I am multiplying. Why? In previous sum I have divided now here I am multiplying because and the of course multiply exactly same uh, thing happens with days also Jodi 54 manu hor karone 49 days lage. Tethi ya hole eta eta 49 days ho jodi 54 manu hai kam kori bo pare. Tethi ya hole ek din ho 54 ho ke besi manu lagi bo. Ek din ho the tu complete kori bo loga hole yad ke besi manu lagi bo. Okay? Hey karone itu tene ke liye bo lage 54 into 49. Again uh, reverse is also same. If more men can do a work in less days, then less men will uh, be able to do the same work in more days okay so 49 days 54 men and one day 54 into 49 always remember this and uh, in 42 days in one day in 42 days what will happen 54 into 49 divided by 42 I will cut it. I will cut it. Seven first. Seven. Six are forty-two. Seven. Seven are forty-nine. Six ones are six. Six nines are fifty-four. This is equal to. This is equal to nine into seven. Sixty-three. That means sixty-three. Man is the answer. And here you see in one day. That means in this case less days more men and in this case uh, more days more days and less men you see here days are less one day and number of persons required more more men and in this case days are more that means 42 days and number of persons required only 63 so this I have written to show you that in this type of sums always remember this type of sums it always comes actually this type of sums are very uh, common for exam so always remember we'll have to multiply here okay less days more men and more days less men okay it's uh, tips time always keep the part which is asked to find out in the question in the right hand side while solving it in case of unitary method so i'll show you with an example 15 meters rope course rupees 225 how many meters of the rope can be bought for rupees 3780 here what we'll have to find out length or cost exactly here we'll have to find out length so according to this rule we'll have to keep our length in the right hand side okay because we'll have to find out length we should and in that case we'll have to start with uh, rupees 
and we will have to keep our length that is meter in the right hand side we should start that uh, with uh, rupees like this with rupees 225 how many meters 15 meters and if we write like this uh, 15 meters cost rupees 225 then this is wrong always uh, always keep the thing asked in the question to find out in the right hand side otherwise in, if you write like this you can't solve it you can't get the answer so before starting your sum you will always keep it in your mind okay so that's all for today and if you have any doubt then please share with me in below comment section and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and see you guys in my next video till then bye